The Google Pixel Buds 2020 is Google's second attempt into wireless earbuds, an attempt to improve on the original Pixel Buds from 2017, which is quite honestly a disappointment. But we all know that. Look at these. <laughs> so what changed? And did they improve with the Pixel Buds 2020? Compared to the first generation, the Pixel Buds 2020 is a big jump. But then again, that's not saying much. When I first saw the announcement for the Pixel Buds 2020, I decided to give Google a second chance, and I haven't been disappointed yet. While the second generation stands at $179 compared to $159 for the first generation, would I say is worth it? It depends on what you're looking for. The design. My first impressions when I received them was the flawless design including the better case, which I did not like from the first one, which is this cheap fabric case that I, that I had back in 2017. It just looks very, very cheap, to be honest. Like, the first generation looks very clunky. It just looks odd. So, the first improvement that I saw was just the, the actual case for the new ones. The design for the Pixel Buds 2020 have a better, more premium feel to it. It feels a lot better, a lot smooth. Just a lot more, like, how it should kind of feel for $179 earbuds. When it comes to the actual earbuds, I'm happy that they removed the strange earlobes that were so uncomfortable and I could not wear them for longer than 30 minutes from the first generation. The second generation for me, on a daily use for the last two weeks, has been pretty smooth. Honestly, you can barely feel them in your ear. Fit perfectly, no complaints there, so that's perfect. It's like if you just put it here, just place it right here, see how it like kind of forms into your ear. That's something that I really love and the connectivity is in instantaneous, which leads us to the next section, which is now Bluetooth connectivity. One thing that the Pixel Buds, the, the original ones, had an issue with was connectivity. These clunky Pixel Buds from 2017 had an issue, a severe issue with connectivity. And also this, this issue. What is this? While the new ones still sometimes have an issue with connectivity, after I've used them for two weeks, to be honest, for the most part, there's literally barely any issues with these. The connectivity is pretty instantaneous. The connectivity is pretty instantaneous, to be honest, compared to the other ones. Is there an improvement? Yeah, sure. After a few weeks, though, you're going to notice that some of the connectivity issues kind of start popping up again, and there's the weird sometimes in like interference, like static on it. So that's something that I really don't like about the new ones still, specifically for the price point of these earbuds. Now, when it comes to the touch controls, these are very simple, to be honest, and very responsive, to be honest, too, as well. Like this going up like this, put the volume up, goes up, down, play, pause, hold it to hear all notifications. That's kind of what it comes down to. The only issue that I have with these um, touch controls, while they're easy and simple to use and very responsive, However, this is a slight issue in terms of when it comes down to the actual touch controls on the earbuds, they're very sensitive. So it means that if you brush against the fabric or you brush against a pillow or something like this, that will most likely activate the earbuds. Now, what about battery and performance? The battery, according to Google, should last about five hours. At least that's what Google says on their website from one charge. However, it's more like three to four hours maximum on a good day. After those three to four hours, you will have to put the earbuds back in their case to charge for a little bit. These will give you quite a lot of battery. I think it gives you about 12 hours or so to probably like two or three charges of each earbuds. So that's actually kind of nice, but the actual earbuds don't have a very good battery for the price point. I guess the other thing that I have noticed that you can do, that I have done too, to have longer uninterrupted listening, is just use one earbud at a time. Once that one is almost dead, out of battery, then you just switch to the other one. Once again, that's not the most convenient thing to do, especially when you're trying to use both earbuds at the same time. The sound, honestly, it's a pretty cool earbuds and they have pretty good sound, pretty good balance between the bass and the and the treble and all those things. It has a good, very like attention to detail in terms of the music or the podcast is very smooth to listen it, it doesn't bother my ears it doesn't bother when i'm listening to something it's not something that i get annoyed by it compared to the to, to the original ones these the quality was not good at all like i'm telling you right now is this earbuds from 2017 are really just kind of not they're just not worth it that's what they're worth for what about cool features for the pixel buds 2020 Google added a few extra features, including the adaptive volume, which has been marked as in development. Basically, it will adjust the volume for your earbuds based on the background noise, wind, and much more. It would also lower, or at least try to lower the volume when sirens are coming. I did notice that the function can lower the volume when a car is honking or hears an abrupt noise. 
which could be good in situations when you need to be alert. It is a function that can be easily turned off if it becomes annoying, so that's something to take into consideration. Other than that, I did notice a few times when there were actually sirens going off that they that the volume they got down on some occasions. So it's a pretty cool and a unique feature that the Google Pixel Buds have in 2020. Some final thoughts. Should you spend $179 and buy the Pixel Buds 2020? Yes and no. Yes, if you're looking for an improvement on the previous generation for the Google Pixel Buds, but no, if you are looking for something that has a better battery and can bring you a lot more quality to it. At its price point, I think it's somewhat worth it, but at the same time, you can find other earbuds that are about the same price, maybe a little bit more with better quality, better battery, and a better performance overall. So after three weeks of using them, I think they're worth it if you're willing to pay that price and if you just like Google products. Otherwise, I don't know if it's so much worth it for people who are looking for new earbuds. I would just suggest probably going with your favorite earbuds that you already use or doing more research into other earbuds. That might be better for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to subscribe, like, comment. I will continue making these videos probably about twice a month. Thank you so much for tuning into this video and I hope to see you next time.